What is going on YouTube? Professor Snap here. I haven't seen you guys in a while. You guys haven't seen me in a while. Um, if you like the Facebook page, you would know that I'm in Vegas or that I was in Vegas for the past two weeks. And I was planning on making videos. I was planning on doing a trip to the thrift while I was there. I even mapped it out, planned it out. And I ended up kind of just playing around instead. So I'm really sorry about that. Never got around to that. But I'm doing one now. And also because on the Facebook page you guys said you wanted a trip to the thrift, so here we go. Let's get into it. Uh, cross your fingers and let's hope I find some good stuff because not only does it benefit me, but it also benefits the video because if I don't find anything cool, then it's just a boring video. Desert Industries Thrift Store and Donation Center. Um, All right, here's some noteworthy hats that I found here. Nothing crazy, but it's just a Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association. Pretty buck. Got this dope flannel rim, brim. You can put it on like a Niners or a Bengals, or not Niners, but like Giants or a Bengals hat. I don't know, pretty sweet. Probably get that for the brim. This one is actually the most common hat I find. I find this out all the time. Um, and I always just buy it just to take the strap because red straps are kind of hard to find. Uh, got a BYU hat. This one's supposed to light up on the Y. There's like holes, but someone ripped out the thing in the back, so I'm not gonna get that. I would if it lit up. Got this BYU fitted. Nah, just figured I'd show it. Uh, found this really sick San Diego Padres. It's got the old school colorway mesh back. Probably gonna restore this up and then make it look nice. So that's a good find. And the last two are just uh, IHL Grizzlies, Utah Grizzlies, and uh, Utah State University, New Eras, vintage New Eras, so. Oh, I forgot to show this. Found a Pokemon patch. I'm gonna grab this too. I'll probably put it on another hat or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Pokemon patch. Sweater. All right, here's a sweater. It's got one decent come up on a sweater. You'll see it though, but. First one here is a, a Stanford. It's plain. Got a classic gap. That's pretty vintage looking. See, we got the colors, but the best come up that I'm gonna cop is this starter Blackhawk strip hoodie. Um, Blackhawks on the side, starter on the sleeve. Real sick. So, this is a nice find. I'm gonna cop that. Alright, what up? Just got done with that DI. Uh -huh. Some okay stuff, nothing too crazy, as you saw. Uh, let's think. Oh, I remember what I wanted to say. Okay, so I wanted to ask you guys, the viewers, those that thrift anyways, or that go hunting or whatever you want to call it, digging, if you guys have a ritual, like if you guys have a ritual before you go, like if you like say a prayer, or you have a lucky rabbit's foot, or you walk in naked, something like that, like if you do something before or even during, I want to know, like put it in the comments section. Uh, I don't really have a, a ritual. What I do do though, what I do do, what I do is I go to the hats first. That's kind of the only ritual I kind of have is as soon as I walk into the thrift store, I always go to the hats first and then I look at the clothes or the knickknacks or whatever else. So that's my kind of only, only ritual. I don't really do anything else. So, But if you got something, put it in the comments. I want to know what you guys do. So I just thought it'd be interesting. Check this out. Dope San Francisco Giants piggy bank. It's like a hat. I'm gonna get this. This thing is dope. We gotta show you guys that. Keeps all my coins in it. The hat and money. All right, so we got lame, lame, lame. Found this uh, Secret Service hat. That's all right, whatever. And Ferrari, pretty sweet. But um, while I was going through the hats, once you want to say hi, what up? You guys should subscribe to my channel on Jason Tank TV. Jason Tank, I'll put it right here. I'm gonna look it up. Oh yeah. Uh, just ran into him. Just ran into him. Just going through the hats, and then he comes up to me. He's like, "You, Professor Snap?" I'm like, "Yeah, I am." So, Hell yeah. shout out to him, doing his thrifting thing. He probably already went through and found everything. I don't know. Love you know? this guy's videos. Man. <laughs> Love his video. Thanks, man. All right. All right. Well, it's good to talk to you. Right. Jason, what? I'm Jason Ting TV. Jason Ting TV. Yeah, so, All right. Check me out. Thanks, man. All right. So that was cool. Ran into a, a little fellow viewer. So that was pretty sweet. Check out his channel. I'm going to check his channel out, too. But um, came up, went through jerseys and actually came up pretty good on jerseys. Um, 
But first is this tank top. Tank top's really not too special, but the only reason I want to show it is because, look, right on the tag, it says MJ right there. This could be Michael Jordan's old tank top, and if you put it on, you might get magic basketball powers and become just as good as him. I think that would make a good movie. I don't know, maybe they should start, like, get someone to play, like, uh, like Bow Wow or something to play in there. I don't know, maybe something like that. So, I think it's an original idea. So, yeah, MJ on the tag. I figured I'd just show that, I don't know. Like Mike, that was a Like Mike reference for those that don't know. I uh, found this Rasheed Wallace jersey, small, tiny kids one. Uh, Sean Marion jersey, it's a champion jersey. But um, by the looks of it, it's a little newer champion just because of how big the, the sleeves are. But it is an XXL. So Sean Marion, pretty good player. Um, this one I was pretty stoked about, just way too big for me. It's a Monte Ellis Warriors jersey. That was a big... Ellis fan back in the day, um, back in the Baron Davis and the Steven Jackson days. So, Ellis A, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this one. Really good, I think it's authentic actually. But, size 52. Uh, this one I'm definitely gonna get is a dope Chris Weber jersey. It's like a practice jersey, it looks like, but Weber on the back for dope Sacramento Kings. That was my era right there with the Kings. And then got a USA basketball number nine, Richmond. So came up pretty good on jerseys. I mean, quite a few jerseys to show. Um, speaking of jerseys and players in the NBA, yes, I'm very mad about Dwight going to LA. I really have no idea what I'm gonna do. I know I promised in the last video that I would kill someone, so I will kill someone. I promise. So let's see what else we find. Uh, here's some notable crew necks, I guess. Some vintage crew necks. University of Utah. Got a Florida State FSU the Seminoles. The vintage. Uh, got a UCLA one, and then a Notre Dame running Irish, fighting Irish, my bad, running, I don't know what I'm talking about, still has the tags on this one. Okay, I went through and found some nice, neat little jackets, just got some, there's some denim jackets right here, here's a black Levi's one, this one's pretty cool, I'm gonna get that one, I don't know, I kinda like this one, it's a Calvin Klein jean jacket, but it's kinda different, I don't know, I'll probably just buy it, and then if I like it, I'll end up wearing it, if not, then kind of has like elbow pads. Um, this one I wanted to show because it's a Disney. Look, Nightmare Before Christmas. Got a little Disney tag down there. Let's show that. And then the last thing is this Coca-Cola satin jacket. Enjoy Coca-Cola right there, just all red. All right, just got done with that Savers. So, wait, I should put my seatbelt on real quick. Safety. All right, so I just got done with the Savers, and uh, I was actually in there quite a while. Ran into a, a viewer, and as you guys probably already saw, go check out his channel. Sorry if I seemed like I was in a rush. Uh, I gotta get somewhere by nine, and it's like eight o'clock right now, but I'm gonna go to one more thrift store, uh, DI. So let's hope we get something good there. I wanna find some, something real, real nice. And here we are at the last Desert Industries thrift store and donation center. This looks cool. Oh, it's a cool cop. Cop that. And then there's something down there that says rust. Alright, we'll go. Oh, there's a jazz beanie. So, so far off to a good start. Now I'm gonna look through it. Alright, so nothing crazy, nothing really, really cool, but I thought this was funny. Hugs for life. How cute. Just a red hat. Got some blank. All black strap backs. This one's all black. The strap in the back. So is this one, but this one's kind of like a polyester material. Splint strap backs. Uh, this one was just all blue with the green denim brim and says superstars on the back. Uh, here's a dead stock. Still got the tags on it. Super Bowl 34, 2000, Atlanta, Georgia. Still got tags on it, but pass on that one. Uh, St. Louis. General merchandise, grand room, pretty beat, so I'm gonna pass on that. These two are probably the only two I'm gonna get. This one's pretty sweet, as you can see. It's got like flowers and stuff on it. Uh, probably use it for brim and something else that I'm sure some of you guys know what I use that for. And then this is a Disneyland hat, and I'm gonna turn this into what I'm gonna call a Disneyland script. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a Mickey Mouse right here and then something above that, so like Anaheim Disneyland or something like that, so that it looks like a script, and I'm gonna make my own Disneyland script, just because 
I can. So, and then last thing is this Jasmine, which I'm probably gonna pass up. It's pretty beat. I mean, I c could just try and wash it and see what happens, but I'm not really into beanies in the first place, but figured I'd show it to you guys. It's still pretty sweet. Figured I'll show you guys this. Just some playing cards. You got some NHL. Looks like they come in 15 cards per pack. Player cards. I don't know. Probably check this out. We got an NFL football. Two of them. 1990, 1991. Oh, we got Joe Montana right there. Warning. Alright, here's some like sweater crew Yankee thing. It's just a New York Yankees up something. This is pretty sweet, but you can see how cracked it is and faded. But if this thing is like my size and like it's still in good condition, I think that'd be a pretty sick. Pretty, pretty sick uh, crew neck. Uh, Michigan, pretty vintage. Got a Ralph Lauren Polo crew neck thingy. Uh, Atlanta Thrashers, no longer teams. So that's kind of cool. Here's a crew neck with a hoodie pocket. It has a pocket right here, but there's no hood. So I forgot to show you guys that. That's kind of interesting. And the last thing is this Wii Sport size large. Jazz Utah, all gray crew neck. I'll probably top this. Because pretty simple, nice neutral color, good for the winter slash fall. All right, so that was the last DI. That's the end of this video. Hope you guys like that. Please rate, comment, subscribe, like, share, whatever else. Just uh, stay tuned. Got more videos coming as always. Pickups, uh, new customization, yada yada yada. So follow me on Facebook, like my Twitter. Uh, follow me on Instagram and you can check out the Tumblr too if you want. I don't really use it too much, but that's about it. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.